William Lovett in Washington. You're listening to The Breakfast Show on The Voice of America. I'm Kay Gallant. Now, a summary of the hour's major news stories. Chinese Communist Party Chairman Hua Guofeng has opened China's fifth National People's Congress in Peking and said things are going better than expected in the country. He said China's main task for some time to come will be eliminating radical influence, including further purges of the followers of the deposed Gang of Four. Chairman Hua also unveiled a 10-year economic plan stressing modernization. The Israeli cabinet met Sunday and reaffirmed its settlements policy after a comprehensive debate on the subject. The cabinet said it will not establish new settlements in the Sinai, it will not resume expansion of settlements already there, and any new settlements in the occupied West Bank should be inside army camps. The debate came in the wake of criticism both in Israel and the United States of the Israeli government's settlement program. Former Indian Prime Minister Indira Gandhi seems assured of an upset victory in the state assembly election in the southern state of Karnataka. The election returns give Mrs. Gandhi's breakaway faction of the Congress Party 84 of the 132 assembly seats already decided. The voting was her first electoral test since she was forced out of power in the general election last year. Philippines President Ferdinand Marcos says that a major political foe, former opposition Senator Benigno Aquino, will not be released from prison to campaign for the National Assembly elections in April. That's the news. Warren Shear reporting. You're listening to the Voice of America Breakfast Show. This is the Voice of America bringing to a close this portion of today's broadcast. You are invited to listen throughout the week to the English language transmissions of the Voice of America for late world news, analysis of major developments, music, and a variety of feature programs. For specific information concerning the time and frequencies of these Voice of America English language programs, write to Program Schedule, Voice of America, Washington, D.C., USA, or write to the United States Information Service Office nearest you. Now, this is the Voice of America concluding this portion of today's broadcast.